So hi guys, uh, the next bullet in our resume is that is I have a very good knowledge and attributes and uh, application model. And what is the relation between like you know, what is the, see what is the attribute or what are attributes and what is an application model, right? Application model is like a key tool in the entire blue prism and without application model we can't design any robot. And moreover, so what are the okay, attributes? And first of all, wherever we are uh, assigning like a manual process to like, you know, like we'll see wherever we are automated like a manual process and then uh, in that area we, you know, we had to teach to blue prism about that particular area. For example, let us say when we are um, uh, like assigning this login process to uh, like blue prism, First, we, we have to teach to this area, like let's say like username field, password field, like you know, system and login. All right. So here it requires like you know, uh, keyboard inputs and mouse place in manual process. It will like you will know, enter, like you uh, will manually enter like an you know, admin admin and uh, click. It's like a two keyboard inputs and one mouse click, and then you can log out, and then. So when we assign this process to like a blue vision, and then blue vision will capture like this particular area of your particular area of your application with the help of okay, attributes or characteristics of an object. So this object name is like you no, know, we will call it like GUI objects. Any Windows application or web application, let us say like a Windows application is made up of like several windows, and again every Windows application have like a one main window or like you know, we'll call like you know, uh, parent window again it have like, a chain windows uh, first i'll show you what is like a parent window and what chain window coming to this application the one we are seeing is called like you know, parent window and we'll call them like a chain windows again you can see like a various uh, like a windows here like a file so like like a new so like that it's like another window So coming to this one, we'll call any Windows application is made up of like various graphical user interface objects or GUI objects. And the one we are seeing we we'll call like an edit field. So edit field like a drop down menu, like a push button, like a radio button, check button, file menu, etc. etc. Like a we'll call, we'll call them like a graphical user interface objects. And first we'll, when we teach to group about this area and group will capture the characteristics of an application. And it's already defined in uh, Blue Prism, and I'll show you later how to what, what are the attributes. And go to Blue Prism, and if you click on the identify, wherever you place the cursor, up, up there here we are capturing, we are using a like, Windows touch tool, there's a default identification mode in uh, like a, for Windows application. And to capture this one, you are right mouse click if you up there here, and so use Control and left mouse, okay, left click. To select the highlighted item or control and right click to cancel, press the Alt key to switch spy modes, right? And you can see here. And now I'm going to capture this one using like a control plus left mouse button. Here it's captured. And if you have to like a element details, the name, and we can assign any name for this one, let's say like a user name. And like a description and the element type. So here I will not mention anything, but by default the blue prism captured or identified the object is an edit field and the data type is like a text and the one we are seeing like you know, attributes. Attributes are characteristics. And moreover, is uh, like the width and height. The specification will measure in terms of like you know, pixels. Like call like you know, picture elements or pixels, and we will call like you know, it's like almost like a two dimensional application. And then uh, we'll call it uh, no, uh, the width and height measure in terms of like a pixels. And uh, the one you are seeing is like width and height. And we'll see what are those attributes. And if you click on like, if you observe here, the name of the attribute, see attributes and nodes. Okay, under the attributes, see here I'm explaining about application model and attributes. And under the attributes tab, you can see like uh, there are like uh, various names here, where you show like various names. And by default, we'll show you like an you know, alphabet, like a act to access account. So access effects, child count, class name, your control ID, enable, etc. If you observe here, by default, we'll show you in the form of like, alphabetical order. 
and if I, but whereas some attributes were by default you know, some attributes were already checked and some attributes were not you know they are unchecked because the selected or checked attributes were enough to identify this uh, object the while when blue prism is start interacting with an application if you click on like a highlight and it is showing that it's identified like a two elements if you observe here like a highlighting results match like a more than one matching window form right so in this in this case we have to go for like a manual alteration and there are like some key like a unique have unique attributes for any application or any object have some we make like some unique attributes out of like the ordinal ordinal value is like one of the like a unique attribute and if we click on like you know, if you select this one and uh, click on apply now click on highlight now it's able to identify it. means when blue prism start interacting with an application like, you know, object in this application then it can easily identify and moreover if you would like to be like you know, all the attributes which are like you know, selected or which are un 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 unselected if you use like a match index if you click on a drop down menu you can see like a match it determines if match is required so match type and match is like equal again there are like various types of attributes if you click on like a drop down menu you can see like a wild card equal not equal regular expression and dynamic so we'll see this like you know, in it we will call the like attributes let's say wild card so wild card means So if you update this application on top of like the name of this uh, window is like Blue Prism Training 19th March 2018 and if you start working with this application like if you open like you know, it will take like, it takes like a system date and tomorrow you know, the date will change but whereas we already teach you Blue Prism like, you know, with the today's date and when we start interact you know when we start working with an application using like Blue Prism like, tomorrow it won't identify so that what we can what we can do so we'll change like you know, yeah, like a wild card so wild card means so delete all those things and then keep it star and then change it to wild card right and click on apply and then if star means it allows like any date and again click on match index and you can see here start training wild card and select it apply and then uh, right. okay we'll call them like attributes if you observe here these are the like example for an attributes for windows application we'll see in detail about so he just here i'm explaining about resume and then uh, to, uh, uh, that's why I just here i'm giving like, uh, some basic information regarding like, like, attributes and moreover these attributes are characteristics will change like you know, uh, change for, like, for application to application Suppose if you go for like you know, tag Windows application, Windows tracking applications, like, uh, like you know, or speaking applications like Windows Media Player, player by the time, these attributes will change and even spying mode or uh, spying mode will also change. Right? Whereas now we are in will touch to mode and like we are seeing like you know, uh, like uh, attributes it comes near like a twenty to twenty five attributes. And let me capture like one more uh, element here that is click on the add element. Like it's like it, you know, it comes a like a teaching process. So now we are teaching to Blue Prism like a password and then apply. And even you can observe here the element type is captured in the form of like an edit and the data type is like a text. And click on highlight again, it's not able to identify the right one. But then what we have to do, we have to go for like a manual alteration. So manual alter alteration means so we'll select uh, like the unique one that is ordinal. Like, like, so apply and click on highlight. Now it's able to identify this one. The next one, click add element and click on identify, and then capture login. And if you observe here, it is saying like a button. Button means like you know, it can allow us. If you observe here, so username is an edit field, means it allows only like keyboard inputs and password is also allow like keyboard inputs and it allows like a mouse clicks, right? And let's say like you know, log. Apply and make sure you click on highlight, it's, it's able to identify the right one. And moreover, 
based on these characteristics when uh, Blueprint starts interacting with an application, it will automatically uh, recognize which actions are supposed to be performed on that particular objects. Like we call them like attributes. And without attributes and without application model, there is no RPA. And right. So here if you observe here, I have very good knowledge in attributes and application model and I have very good experience in exception handling and workflows. Right? Let me introduce about exception handling. Yeah, so far we have designed like, you know, all programs under ideal scenarios. In non, when when you come for like a non ideal scenario, right? So here I'm going to introduce you exception handling like in basic level, like it means like a foundation level. Then we'll see in detail uh, in advanced level. It's like a later. And exceptions means uh, like unexpected things in uh, like uh, when we let's say in manual when when we are interacting with an application. Sometimes like oh. Uh, the network issue say comes up and like an application may not respond properly and whereas the various types of exceptions are available in I will call them like the system exceptions, business exceptions, uh, etc. etc. Alright. So let me introduce you about uh, exceptions. So here I'm checking like two data items. So one is X and one is one and Y. number and then one so y number and the initial value is let's say like zero and here the one i'm taking like one calibration there's like an you know, exceptions like uh, one by zero becomes infinity infinity if you know, like the any program would accept in like infinite and drag and drop like on the calibration stage here So x divided by y and then stores in y so reset it then run it. It gives some error obviously because so x by y is zero it's sorry infinity it won't accept. So, if any, yes, it's only like one example. If any such kind of error occurs while uh, Blue Prism interacts with an application, the process is not supposed to be start and the process is supposed to be reroute. Okay, true, such kind of things will go for like exceptions. There are like you know, four stages available for uh, to work with an exceptions exception, recover, resume, and black stage. All right, so here, recover stage. And then the end stage. So link it. Then this gives me show some error. See error validated to recovery stage link to the main process. So it's a view check, right? And then I'm going to use like a you know, resume stage. In resume stage, so basically the use of resume stage is like it decreases the power or intensity of that error. Then run it. All right. And let me you know, let me explain black stage. So in one process or one page, only one recovery stage works. So let me use uh, like a one we'll call them like an exception block. If I run it, so reset it, then run it. So here we use like a two exception blocks, but whereas it's using like only one exception block. And if you observe here, one exception block is like you no, know, it's a waste, and we can block it. Okay, let me block this one. Now you can see. 
So it's not going through. Right, it's more like a basic level. We'll see in detail about uh, this time. Uh, this time, introducing will resume your purpose, and they will ask you, like, you know, how do you handle like you know, any exceptions? So, using this, like, you know, recover stage, resume stage, and black stage, and exception stage, and we'll see in detail about uh, like exceptions. And let me introduce about queues. And we can control choose management from a control tab. So far, we have not used any control tab. This is the control tab only for session management purpose, and now we are going to use like a choose management purpose. And to do this one, first of all, there are like two types of management. One is like error management, other one is case management. Error management is nothing but exception management or exception handling. Choose management, sorry, case management or is nothing but like choose management. Means we can improve the like you know, see robot performance by using like you know, management. So to do that one, I am introduced like one simple thing here. Like we can create a queue from here, like a queue name. Let's say some Anchapie. So while we are defining uh, like a queue name, you can see like a lot of options here, like maximum attempts running, etc., etc. Again, click on apply. And then go to like control tab, you can see all the chart. Alright, and go to like a studio. Like a fuse management. So for this one, obviously we use, they have defined like, there are two types of reviews. One is like inbuilt review and again uh, internal reviews. So if you, if you after here, like a visual business artist or internal business artist, I will call them internal, like internal reviews. So collections, work queues, calendars, credentials, environmental logging, encryption. And it is like work queues. And if you after here, there are like, you know, you have to queue, Etc. Etc. And today, some information regarding the queues management, and then we'll see with the product bit later. Let's come back to resume, and then I have a very good experience exception handling work queues, and I have been working on working with the thick clients and thin clients. We have already seen uh, like the thin clients in the sense like we'll go for like a surface automation. I have an excellent experience in unit testing and integration testing, and like using various debugging tools in Google RPA. So these are the like you know, tools. Or like even it comes under you know the entire this area will fall under like you know, debugging tools. You know, run or play like you know, debug speed and pause step means like one action at a time and one stage at a step over one stage at a time step out one action sorry one entire process at a time so reset it so you know there are you can find like two things here one is like a reset or like you know refresh. So if you press the reset button, the current values will go on and the current value, okay, current values will go on. And whereas if you, like, you know, if you use this one, the current process will get refreshed. And whereas if you use this option, the entire group will get just like refresh, right? Now come back to resume and agile methodology. Agile methodology means it's like so far most of the companies are using like an agile methodology. And to get the detailed information about this one, you will see in second class. Like means in agile methodology, like they would call it is a part of like a SDLC methodology, software development life cycle methodology methodologies. There are like various methodologies like you know, waterfall model, spiral model, V model, and like you know, uh, like uh, like that, like it's an agile methodology. In agile methodology, the tester and developer will always interact like a simultaneously for each and every phase. I have good knowledge in Blue Prism RP administration and then I have very very you know, expert both Windows and web based application with like work plan constraints. Okay. Right. Anyway, let me start the class for today and tomorrow we'll continue with uh, 
uh, like registration mein once again and meanwhile i will send you some information to get like a queue management also please go to them and then uh, we'll see we'll start like uh, start our discussion resume once again tomorrow i will finish uh, the resume i will explain like you know, the resume prepare how to prepare the resume and better to uh, like prepare your dummy resume and then start posting it okay thank you